Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags, available at Amazon right now. Hi guys, this is Ranger Rob from the Ranger Rob Country Living. And today I, I wanted to talk to you guys, just kind of a one-on-one -on -one little thing. Um, uh, not a serious one, not like uh, this isn't gloom and doom or anything. This is just a discussion. And the, the word I want to bring up is the word unrest. Unrest being that we have a lot of things going on, like elections coming up. We have food shortages. We have uh, tensions in different countries. We have uh, <laughs> way too many things. The food thing is a big one. Food shortages is really, uh, really bad. And of course, unemployment. And so my conversation is with you, and I want to hear your comments below what you're doing or not doing, is do you do anything or do you not do anything? Do you prepare or do you not prepare? Is the media just a bunch of crap? Is, or is um, some of the stuff we should be on top of? Because my big question to you is, is do you feel foolish if you're preparing a little bit, getting a little extra food, maybe having a generator, you know, doing a few, making sure the gas tanks are full, things like that. And of course, with winter coming, all that, or you just doing nothing, um, and you say this is just a bunch of crap. It's just media stuff. It's it's a bunch of fear mongers. Uh, what what <laughs> what's serious and what isn't serious? And that's the bad part about this. Because wouldn't it be terrible if you something from this unrest actually happens, and it's a combination of. Uh, well, wow, one, there's a lot of earthquakes going on. We could have a sunspot. We could have problems with the power. We could have civil unrest. We could have, you know, no matter what happens in the election, I don't care what side we're, you and I are on. It's, the thing is, it's going to be unrest. And uh, could it get serious? And if it did, what do you do? So when you hate it to go through life or and something happened and you didn't prepare at all and you're just a fish out of water flopping, um, or do you prepare a little bit and kind of, you know, double up on your groceries and things like that? That's such a hard thing to discuss. Like, well, you know, we can't sit around and be afraid all the time. And I, I can tell you because we do prepare and we do have, uh, uh stuff like, you know, uh, we have things for our second amendment and we have extra food. We do have generators and extra fuel. Um, uh, Actually, I don't worry. I mean, things are, yes, the saying, it is what it is. If nothing happens, what have I heard? Except uh, I got a lot of extra food. And if I was having a tight month, hey, I'd just fall into my preps and not go to the grocery store. Um, so I'm not really hurting anything. But am I being overcautious? Am I... Or, or is this not something to be concerned about? Because the year 2020 has been bizarre, more than anything you, uh, most of us have ever had to deal with. And so, you know, when you live out in the country like we do, you know, everybody's kind of on the same page. Uh, there's a few radicals here and there, but pretty much, I mean, uh, I don't feel the uh, tension as much as what I'm seeing in the news, if that's true, in the cities, if there's feeling a little bit more tension there. Could political unrest or just unrest happen in these big cities? And, uh, you know, what if we have sh food shortages, which we are showing signs of it? And w what are and aren't they telling us? Um, is it good to be prepared? Uh, are we all paying attention is really the big thing. I don't think the, you know, to avoid panic, I think there's a lot of things that aren't really told to us. And uh, um, so, you know, you got to listen to not just one set of news. Um, it's good to kind of hear different opinions and then come up with your own. But like I said, wouldn't you feel terrible if something happened and you weren't prepared? Or you just go with the flow because... You can't expect the government to, to give us the money we need to survive. We can't go on like this because the inflation will just go whew, way up there. So we don't know what's going to happen with homes. We know the stock market is insane. It has no reality to what we're doing today. 
um, in real life because unemployment is out of this world. Housing's out of this world right now, but we've been here before. Just remember 2007, 2008, pretty much the same thing going on. And, uh, and something did happen then. And a lot of people lost their homes. And uh, so uh, do you prepare? Do you try to get out of debt? Do you try to uh, keep your costs down? Are you staying home more? Is this COVID uh, just taking us over the top? Um, you know, I'd love to hear your opinions. I ask everybody to be professional. Um, and one way or the other, you could either be, yeah, I prepare a little bit, or yeah, I prepare a lot, or no, nah, let's go with the flow. Um, you know, everything's cool. Don't pay attention to that stuff. It's always, we've heard unrest before. I'm not going to lose sleep over it. You know, so what's your opinion, guys? Do you think it's worth kind of getting prepared a little bit? And even if you're just kind of unsure, maybe for a few months, have a, you know, a few extra things. Um, maybe make sure that little handgun you got in your back, po <laughs> back pocket, in your back room or something. Maybe you have a little ammo for it. Let's hope we never see anything like that. It's so hard to imagine, but other countries have seen it and have, are going through it. And, uh, you know, we've been pretty lucky over here, but the world is not like us. I know we all think the world should be like us or is like us. It's not. It's just plain old it isn't. And the more people have been more worldly will tell you, the first one to tell you is, First of all, the world out there is nothing like us. And we've been uh, coddled a lot. And so uh, I know a lot of us just wouldn't know what to do if things really went amok. And maybe we don't want to feel like that. So anyway, I'm just curious. Uh, it's a video for old conversation, not really for fun, but not to be uh, fear mongering, mongering <laughs> but uh I'd like to know if you're really thinking this is something we should gear up for um, or not. Or maybe it's like, guys, relax. Uh, put your faith in God. And you, but even God says, hey, be act, you know, take action. Um, and uh, yeah, you know, it's, it's uh, sitting back and just waiting for things to happen or waiting for someone to bail us out. I, I just, I've never been a believer in that. I always think hard work and taking action and being a visionary being prepared and protecting my family is really important to me. So what's your opinion on it? So I want to thank you very much for listening to the Ranger Rob Country Living. I didn't want to go blah, blah, blah too much, but I'd love to hear your opinions. Please take the time to like, share, and subscribe, subscribe and all that good stuff. And also leave a comment below and say hello. Um, if anything, just say hello. Um, if you leave a comment, please be professional. I really appreciate it. So guys, be safe. Be proactive and get educated and pay attention. <laughs> it's me too. Let's go. Everything I'm saying here is for me and everybody else. So guys, have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.